and most important election as far as the country is concerned. But the assurance the Electoral Commission can give to the election security task force is that as the Commission, we are committed to a very peaceful process. We are committed to a very credible process. We are committed to a very, very transparent process. As a result of that, all the necessary measures that must be put in place to ensure that as a country we witness another credible election, we have been able to do that. We've done the limited voter registration exercise. We've also done the mop up to be able to compile the register for the special voting. Transfers have been done. Voting by proxy has also been done. From tomorrow, we are beginning the exhibition exercise, which will end on the 27th of August. After that, from the 9th to the 13th of September, we are going to receive the nominations. After that, we will move into printing of and notices of poll, printing of all of the text, and all the other relevant uh, activities that must be undertaken. We are also working with all the political parties. So as far as the electoral commission is concerned, we believe that we are going to have another credible, another successful election. And Ghana will continue to be a beacon of light, a beacon of hope, as far as organizing credible elections is concerned. Since the commencement of the whole election process, We've been in and out of this place, all in the spirit of engagement, in the spirit of working together to ensure that, from the security point of view, there is peace, security, law, and order before, during, and beyond the elections. We are, by design and a divine design, related to each other. And therefore, we are so connected that whatever happens to one affects all. So with this mindset, we are in a good place when it comes to preparing ourselves for a simple exercise of electing our leader. If we have it on our mind that we are all connected and therefore one people, we will be very circumspect in all the things that we do and putting down our face. And this is why we are here today, to come and put down our face and our individual interest second or with no position. Because we are only relevant when Ghana is at peace with itself. So we have to have that in mind. You cannot be at peace with yourself when the country you live in, which is the bigger picture, is not at peace with itself.